it was because of my own personal journey through one side and not the other and everything in between of this illness. Um, it was because of that experience, that very life-altering experience that really permeated um, like roots of weeds in a garden every aspect of my life as a woman and as a human being, professionally, personally, um, psychologically, physically, uh, emotionally, that I felt very moved by my contact and treatment from Dr. Sechkin that he was able to convince me to open my mouth and really speak about this disease because I'm a college educated woman with access to uh, really superior health care, both in Europe where I lived for most of my 20s and in America. And I had already had two surgeries before I got to Dr. Sechkin, and yet I had never heard the words endometriosis. And hopefully a new chapter is opening today at MIT with, our, with Padma. Yeah, both uh, Dr. Sechkin and I, as well as the rest of our board and everyone at EFA is so thankful and so excited um, that Dr. Griffith is spearheading this research center, which, you know, I'm really excited about, but at the same time, I have to say, I'm really shocked that it's the first research center of its kind in America. That is stunningly bad news, on the one hand, that you know, she's the first one doing it. On the other hand, better late than ever. Thank God for Dr. Linda Griffith and all the people that have, you know, helped contribute. We found that there was a tremendous opportunity to study a disease that affects millions of women and is not very well researched. There's certainly no other school that has a focus on endometriosis in the engineering school. And we felt there was a huge need to raise awareness, both in the public and scientific community, and that creating a center that creates cool new technologies for lots of kinds of applications, but that focuses first on endometriosis would be a great way to do this. And we're thrilled that Padma was able to share so many interests in trying to raise awareness, and we're thrilled she would come today and help us watch this. Actually, it's quite emotional to see finally somebody doing research on something that you feel or have been made to feel you're crying wolf about.